Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Starlord, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase your attack and your defense in Monster Hunter World. Now, I know a lot of you guys already know about the armor and power charms. This is not it. This is a little bit different. So please do stay tuned throughout the whole video as it does pose some very important information. And it is pretty much a quick guide. Um, so basically today, I'm going to be showing you how to raise those two uh, things on your character, your attack and your defense. Uh, but before we get into the actual guide itself, guys, please do not forget to leave a like if you do enjoy this and you do find it helpful, that would be awesome. And also, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm going to be doing a lot of Monster Hunter World videos, glitches, guides, tutorials, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to see that, go and subscribe to the channel, guys. So anyway, without further ado, let's actually get into today's guide. So here I am right now in the actual game itself. I'm in the main hub, I guess. And if we just go over to this guy, you will all know that he sells a power charm and an armor charm. This is the provision stockpile dude. And these charms are unlocked, I believe, when you first hit high rank. When you start doing high rank quests, you can go to buy. And um, if you just kind of scroll through what he has to offer, you will see that he sells the power charm for uh, 36 thousand zen and uh, armor charm for 24,000 zen. Is it zen? Is that the currency? I always forget. Um, but anyway, that is basically what he sells. Now, once we saw these two, a lot of people just assumed, you know, that's all we could do with them. But for those of you who are new to Mon the Monster Hunter series in general, you can actually do more with these charms. You can actually go and combine them with different items to make them even more powerful. So if we just go over to our item box right now, I've already purchased two. And if we go down to the crafting list, we can go ahead and go across the craftable items. Keep on going across until you would most likely find it on a question mark kind of um, kind of area. So just kind of look at all of the question marks and eventually you will get to one where it says the power charm and then a question mark on what you have to combine it with. Now, if you have already beaten the Basil Goose and you've already got the talent from it, you can actually use the Basil Goose talent with the armor charm and the power charm to create a power talent and an armor talent. And as you can see, here it is right here, a charm that increases defense. It affects are amplified by the dragon parts it contains. Very interesting indeed. And you know, it strengthens your attacks. Who wouldn't want that? But as well as actually having those in your inventory, you can go back again and purchase the power charm and the armor charm to actually stack those defense and attack attributes. You can actually double it. So, I don't know. I thought that a lot of you guys would definitely not know about this and I just kind of wanted to give you a heads up because, you know, this is pretty important things. Like, you know, if you, if you just have these four items equipped onto you, it does make a difference. It makes a difference when you're going up against one of the Elder Dragons or, you know, whatever. You, you, you'll do more damage and you'll be protected more. So, that is pretty much it for today's guide, guys. I just thought that I would make it as I know that a lot of new people to the Monster Hunter series wouldn't have known about this. And to just kind of give you guys a heads up. Uh, so, anyway, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya!